Developing tonight, former St. Bernard Parish president is under the microscope after calls for an investigation into his use of a parish vehicle. WDSU Investigates has learned that the council chairman is asking multiple agencies to investigate what he says is double dipping. Cassie Sherm looking into these accusations. Cassie. Well, one council member says the former parish president misappropriately used a parish vehicle. Now, I will say the two have been at odds when it comes to politics, but I was able to confirm there is an active investigation going on about this for the DA's office as well as the state auditors. They're going to make sure that we do our due diligence and do everything that we're supposed to do. St. Bernard Council Chair Fred Everhart says after looking at the public records a concerned citizen brought to the council, he and the parish president took action. That had to be reported. Everything, we have a fiduciary responsibility to report on anything wrong going on in the parish, and that's what we had to do, get it to the district attorney and get it to the attorney general and the legislative auditor. According to the public records, in 2023, Parish President Guy McGinnis, who was in his final year in office, was listed as having a parish-issued vehicle and submitted gas card receipts for filling up a vehicle. Documents also show that same year he had a $1,600 per month vehicle stipend that adds up to more than $19,000 for the year. According to state law, you can't have both. Guy McGinnis over the phone told me he only used the parish-issued vehicle for long trips, and it was a pool vehicle. He says it was not a take-home vehicle, but McGinnis declined an in-person interview. Really just the truth in government, uh, making sure that uh, the tax dollars that the citizens are paying here in the parish uh, are going to the appropriate reasons. Henry Curtis is the concerned citizen who requested the public records and turned the information over to the council. So where is the accountability and who's supposed to be reviewing the check register within parish government? Who is supposed to be reviewing the parish president's expenses? Uh, uh, the council is supposed to be the ones reviewing the check register and expense, uh, expenditures of parish government. We asked Everhart that question. Why do you think it was missed previously? Uh, overlooked, uh, not pinpointed. Um, it could be a, a number of things, but it, it's it's hard when you get a budget that's inch and a half thick, and you got to go through it line item after line item. You one person, we part time employees. I would rather be a full time employee, but right now at the spirit of the charter, it's it's we part time employees, and it's hard to it's hard to catch everything. Again, we were able to uncover there is an active investigation going on. However, McInnes tells us no one else has reached out to him, including the DA's office or the state auditor. It's only been WDSU, so we'll continue to keep following this story closely. In St. Bernard, I'm Cassie Sherm, WDSU Investigates. And the Coast Guard is searching right now for a